Hello and welcome to episode 15 of ERRX. In this pharmacy consult episode, we discuss sulfa allergies and what they mean with different agents. For example, a provider wants to prescribe Tamsulosin or Flomax, but when they put the order in, the system flagged a contraindication because the patient has a history of sulfa allergy. What do we do here? Adverse drug reactions to sulfonamide antibiotics are common, occurring in up to 3% of courses, but only 3% of those are true hypersensitivity reactions. Unfortunately, hypersensitivity reactions to sulfonamide antibiotics can be severe and life-threatening, including Stevens-Johnson syndrome. This is why so many of us stop in our tracks when we see a sulfa allergy flag for our patients. But we have to remember that there are chemical differences between sulfonamide antibiotics and sulfonamide non-antibiotics. While both groups do have a sulfonamide component in common, there are crucial differences between the groups. I'll post an image onto errxpodcast.com and the ERRX Podcast Instagram page, but suffice it to say that although both groups contain the sulfonamide structure, non-antibiotics do not contain two other structures thought to cause the hypersensitivity common to sulfonamide antibiotics. Non-antibiotic sulfonamides are much less likely to cause severe reactions, and cross-reactivity between sulfonamide antibiotics and non-antibiotics is extremely rare. Given this information, drugs that can be safely used, especially in emergency situations, are carbonic anhydrase inhibitors such as acetazolamide, lube diuretics, thiazide diuretics, sulfonylureas such as gliburide and glimepiride, COX-2 inhibitors, tryptans such as sumatriptan, otherwise known as imitrex, and, as mentioned above, tamsulosin or Flomax. Also, eye drops such as gentamicin, polytrim, atropine, and maxitrol are also likely all safe. However, drugs that may cause cross-reactivity include sulfadiazine, sulfasalazine, dapsone, silver sulfadiazine cream, and possibly sulfonamide antiretrovirals such as amprenovir and fosamprenovir. In conclusion, sulfa allergies in patient charts can be misleading. An allergy to a sulfonamide antibiotic may cause cross-reactivity with other sulfonamide antibiotics, but not to non-antibiotic sulfonamides or other drugs that contain sulfate groups, sulfite preservatives, sulfates, or things such as the element sulfur. The evidence shows overwhelmingly that non-antibiotics do not need to be considered contraindicated in those with a history of hypersensitivity to antibiotic sulfonamides. As always, thank you so much for your time. We've recently hit a couple of big milestones with over 1,000 downloads, and we've officially been added to Pandora. Please remember to hit subscribe and leave us some feedback.